1349. Amisha and Hugo de Rune, along with their mother Beatrice and companion Lucas, an apprentice alchemist, fled their homeland due to the devastating effects of war, an infestation of rats, and the pursuit of the Inquisition, who sought to obtain the special powers possessed by young Hugo. As they traveled through the countryside, they found temporary solace in the county of Provence, where they hoped to gain more understanding of the mysterious illness known as the Macula, which afflicts Hugo. Six months have passed since Amisha and Hugo were able to defeat Vitali's Benevent and the Inquisition. During this time, they have lived peacefully, traveling the countryside with their mother Beatrice and their friend Lucas in search of a new home. At present, they are en route to the Red City, where a renowned alchemist from the Order resides. This alchemist may be able to provide further assistance in managing Hugo's condition. As they journey, Amisha and Hugo engage in playful activities such as pretending to be rulers in the ruins of a castle. They also have the opportunity to play with Lucas and a young boy they meet by a river. After their games, the boy returns home and Amisha and Hugo continue to explore the nearby castle ruins. Be brave, sorcerer! Your fight is far from over! Tragedy strikes on what had been a peaceful day for Amisha and Hugo. As they explore a private bee farm, they witness the aftermath of a robbery and the owners, mistaking them for thieves, attempt to kill them. In order to evade the danger, Amisha and Hugo must sneak their way through the property. Here, but we have nothing to do with it. Lies! You bloody thieves! I'll cut you to pieces! Run! However, they come across the young boy they had played with earlier and realize that his family intends to kill him as punishment for failing to prevent the theft. Determined to save the boy, Amisha fights against his family members and manages to fatally wound one of them. However, she is soon overpowered. Just as they are about to kill her, Hugo, overwhelmed by the stress of the situation, summons rats to attack and consume the attackers, causing him to lose consciousness. Yeah. Remy, you handle it. And don't disappoint me. But the boy. He's the right age to learn. You shouldn't have come. You don't want to do this, believe me. You talk too much. Stop! As he loses consciousness, Hugo experiences a recurring dream in which he is led by a phoenix to an island with two large mountains. The Makula, the illness he has struggled with, spreads further across his body as he follows the bird deeper into the island. Don't hurt me. Eventually, the symptoms become so severe that he can barely move. Just as he is on the verge of collapse, they reach a tree by a small pond. Upon touching the water, the macula's progression stops and begins to recede. Hugo realizes that this dream may be a sign for how to cure his illness. Before he can ask the phoenix for more information about the location of the island and whether he can bring someone else there with him, the dream ends. Hugo awakens on a cart with Amisha, Patrice, and Lucas. Amisha had rescued him and brought him back to the group, but had concealed the fact that they were attacked by the farmers, hoping to avoid any further trouble on their journey to the Red City. As they approach a checkpoint leading to the city, they are stopped by the beekeepers, who are searching for the boy and girl who killed Remy and Matthias. 
Amisha and Hugo are identified as the perpetrators of the killings. Amisha is separated from the rest of her family and must fight and sneak past the men in order to reunite with them. No, wait! No. Amisha! You get the car! Oh, don't let her get away! Along the way, she is forced to kill a man who was about to attack her mother in retaliation. The confrontation leaves Amisha deeply shaken while Hugo once again falls unconscious. Beatrice tries to comfort Amisha, but is unable to fully calm her before they resume their journey towards the Red City. It's over. It's alright. It's alright. 